What pro tip would you like to give to the opposite sex? Stop rubbing the clits so hard. Wash your ass. Please don't finger girls like you're digging for change. And cut your fingernails. If you did it to get her attention and make her like you, she expects it to always be part of your relationship. Whining and dining, romantic gestures, back rubs. When it stops we feel like you are no longer interested and it hurts. I would imagine most men feel the same way as well. I usually see both parties kind of let the honeymoon phase fade away. One partner slows down on the flowers and dinner, and the other partner slows down on physical intimacy. Both parties are likely hurt enough to stop trying and it fizzles from there. Chivalry is nice but don't overdo it. We can tell when you're trying too hard. I had a guy nearly knock me over once trying to get to the door before me so he could hold it for me. Milady. My clit is not a nub you need to sandblast. You bring a sandblaster to bed. I guess I'm vanilla after all. For the women out there, in most occasions you don't have to be worried about telling a guy you like him. We are starved of that kind of thing and even if we don't like you back, the fact that you said that will probably boost our confidence for the next 10 years. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. We do not control unexpected boners. They surprise us just as much as they surprise you. Don't hit on people while they're working, especially if they're in any kind of customer service position. We're literally being paid to be nice to you. It doesn't mean we want to bang. Be active. I don't want to f someone who's just laying there. So remember, kids, necrophilia isn't just boring. It's also a crime. Do not be embarrassed to use the restroom before bedroom activities. No one wants to pretend they can't smell that smell. Excusing yourself to wash is never going to be an issue. This goes both ways. Always salt your pasta before boiling. You don't have share the same hobbies as your partner, just as long as you appreciate their enthusiasm about it and respect the time they dedicate towards it. This really goes both ways. Enthusiasm is sexier than anything else. The Mandalorian armor stays on. It's okay to be single. Being alone doesn't suck that badly and everyone asking you why you're single can shove it. This advice goes to those in a relationship that think it would being alone would be worse and those that are single and feel pressured to not be. It's worth it to wait and find someone you're actually happy with, even if it's only for a night. Pretty sure this advice is good for people of whatever gender, but so is most of the advice I've seen in here. Yes. Being single can suck, I should know. I've never been in a meaningful relationship my entire adult life. I know what it's like to deal with that. This post isn't for people like us. It's for those people that are in shitty relationships, but don't want to leave because they're scared of being lonely. For those people that feel like they're being pressured to keep getting into relationships that they don't want to be in because people won't leave them alone. And for those people that don't even realize being single is actually an option. Believe me, I know all about how much it sucks to be single for years at a time. I've been single for over a decade myself at the moment. But I've also got friends in toxic relationships that are terrified of leaving because they'd rather deal with the abuse than go a week without someone to come home to and I've got friends that have went from person to person and have never had the chance to define who they are as a person without ever giving themselves the chance to figure out who they are as a person without someone else to define themselves by. Guys would talk to a slab of concrete if it approached them first. Don't play hard to get. Also, sometimes your subtle hints are too subtle. Guys like me have such low self-esteem that it's easy to think you were glancing at someone behind me. Your fragrance should subtly enhance your presence not ominously warn of your impending arrival. I'm gonna just say it as a dude I would like to get flowers and chocolates from a woman. Stop making a big deal of me not being wet enough. If you don't stay hard we laugh it off. So stop getting annoyed at me for having issues sometimes. This applies to both sexes. Don't play games. Be honest about your intentions with whoever you're with. This applies to both sexes. Play more games. Board games are a great way for everyone to have fun. Guys. 
Keep a trash can in your bathroom if you ever expect her to come over a second time. Managing her period is hard enough without having to come out and publicly ask you where you want her to dispose of her trash. No girl wants to walk that shit to the kitchen. Ladies. Take your trash out with you when you leave. The guys are rightfully disgusted by what they find weeks later in the line. Lidded can they've all committed to get for you but that otherwise rarely gets used. Thank you for the award. Kind stranger. Talk about what you like in bed beforehand. Tell me how I can make you feel better than good. Be open and honest about what gets you going. And let me get you there. I want to make you feel good so tell me how to get there. Unless you prefer I stumble around in the darkness. In which case. Tell me that too. If you're in relationship. Living together. Sex can be initiated hours before through just the slightest physical interaction. I brief touch as you pass each other in the kitchen. A hug just for the sake of a hug. Subtle stuff like that. Passion. Really. My partner and I will just be chillin'. Maybe even bored as f Quick hug and suddenly something snaps and we'll lunge at each other. It could be once a month. Or multiple a day. Passion's weird and fun like that. Please don't smack my vagina. Or rub my clit like a damn DJ. Ouch. Probably mentioned. But don't be playing hard to get. Guys will either be turned off or just think you don't like them and give up. And if he does keep after you when you've clearly turned him down, that's not really a good sign either. If I'm wearing a button-down shirt and we are undressing each other, remember to unbutton the sleeves before you try to take it off. Not a pro tip but, ladies I don't care if I see your asshole during doggy I'm too busy clapping cheeks and making sure you enjoy it. It would be nice if girls made the first move sometimes. It get incredibly tiring always being the one to initiate. We just want to feel wanted too. Sometimes we just want to be the little spoon. Even if you think it's clean, wash it again. Let them decide if you're in their league, not you. Even though I may look like it, I'm not a homeless sexual predator. I am just an IT guy. Girls. Give guys more non-sexual physical attention. Head kisses and cuddles and hugs from behind. Touch us more. Head pats and treats. Show interest. Not even sexually. Just showing genuine interest in me as a person is often enough to make me fall for you. If you find a beautiful individual. Smart and funny don't instantly assume they're off limits. They could be quite lonely. Applies to both genders. Some men like me for example find all sizes of boobs and ass nice. Let the past die. Kill it. If you have to. That's the only way to become what you were meant to be. Talk to the guy you like instead of waiting for him to talk to you. Kiss the guy you like if he isn't making that move fast enough. Tell the guy you like what you need before it becomes a problem. Don't lie to me, whether or not that hurts how you think I think of you. It doesn't. If you can't tell somebody you care about something without them dropping you, they don't care about you. Don't accept drinks from strangers. To guys, we also love when you moan and make noise during sex. Obviously not over the top, but it's nice to hear you enjoying it as well. Guys, please moan. It's not embarrassing. It's hot. Female here. When you're going down on us and we're about to come don't go faster or harder or change anything you're doing. Just keep doing the thing that got us to the point of coming. Things get hypersensitive down there so it's easy to overdo it in those moments and kill it. Men should make more noise. This is hot as hell when they make us see how they feel good during sex. The entrance is further down than you think. I like a lot. Like you haven't even passed my balls yet. Don't hint at anything. Period. We won't understand what you're trying to say or we will understand. But we ignore it because we don't want to look like a creep. Just straight up tell us what you want. No vaginal after anal anything. You will give an awful ooty if you do this. I'm about to come does not mean change the rhythm. I don't know how you like it. So just say it.